Hi, I'm Bailey Bancroft, and this is Mary Price, and you're watching Studio 143 News. Today we will be covering cardio drumming, an addition of a new restaurant here in Eaton Rapids, boys basketball, and a preview of the upcoming musical. experience the vigorous workout of cardio drumming. At Greyhound Central, exercise opportunities are available for the community in the form of cardio drumming. Leaders married couple Jake and Christian Bulin challenge their participants with intense workouts that can be adjusted for every unique individual. Um, it's actually self-modified so everybody can go at their own intensity level, whether they're low intensity, medium intensity, or high intensity. We have different coaches that represent different levels, but everyone also takes the class at their own intensity level. So whether you have to sit in a chair partway through the class or you're jumping like a maniac the entire time, anybody can do this. There's actually several benefits, I guess, to, to say the least. We always talk about different improvements that we've made throughout the classes after the end of class. Whether it's just people trying to lose weight, people trying to have more confidence, people trying to feel better about the way that they fit in their clothing or just the way they feel about themselves. So the benefits are really just up to the imagination of the individual and up to their own artwork. On top of providing an atypical avenue for exercise, the leaders also help to put together meal plans and recommend brands of protein supplements to help people stay healthy, strong, and build muscle. Um, with cardio drumming, we have the uh, plastic tubs and then um, just two drumsticks and a uh, 65 or 75 centimeter uh, workout ball. Cardio drumming costs $2 to rent a bucket, ball, and drumsticks, or dedicated individuals can purchase a kit for $25. The classes repeat weekly on Mondays and Thursdays from 4.30 to 5.30 and another from 6 to 7. Afterwards, a delicious protein shake can be purchased for $5 in conclusion to the vigorous and energy-zapping workout. Eaton Rapids welcomes a new restaurant downtown, Mark's Place, and we have the details. So I'm Mark with Mark's Place, and this is... Krista. Mark's Place. Awesome. We started um, in Eaton Rapids with a little hot dog cart about eight years ago, and just thinking it was, you know, I needed a job and something to do, so we opened the hot dog cart downtown, hoping that it would take off, and it, and it did, because we were busy enough to, with open houses and all different sorts of things in the summer, we were able to purchase a second cart. We got that up and running. Um, a couple of years later, we were featured on the Food Network on a reality show called Food Court Wars with uh, the host was Tyler Florence and we won that show and the winning was a one year free um, rent at the Lansing Mall. They ended up extending that to us for another six months so we had a year and a half of free rent at the Lansing Mall. It kind of got slow. Yeah. So um, we were out of there after our free rent and we bought this building. Mark's Place, characterized as a coffee shop, features grilled sandwiches, bubble tea, and bubble lemonade. Mark spoke to us about what bubble tea and lemonade is and where he got the idea from. Tea and bubble lemonade thing has, uh, was, was different, you know, because it's something that is, is very unique. It's an, it's an Asian thing, um, and you don't get a whole lot of it around here. I think the closest place to get that is, is East Lansing. So um, we've, we tried it a couple years ago and loved it. So we were like, man, we need to bring this to town. So we have, and so far it's, it's been a really big hit. And if you don't know what bubble tea is, it's a, um, like I said, it's an Asian thing. It's a milk tea base, which is like a sweetened tea that you get to add flavor to. We have four different flavors. Um, and then after that, you pick your flavor of your bubbles. And bubbles are, we don't do tapioca like you get at Bubble Island. We have exploding juice balls. So what they, what they are, these little flavored balls that you suck Drink up through, through a straw. straw. Yep, and they explode in your mouth with flavor. Looking to open up and be recognized by the community, Mark's Place is holding a grand opening March 11th, featuring live music. They would also like to extend a welcome to those who would like to showcase their talents, whether it be music or poetry, at their open mic nights coming soon. This has been Bailey Bancroft with Studio 143 News. Here's Michael Toy with the details on the boys' varsity basketball team. The boys' varsity basketball team played their hearts out in their last home game on March 3rd against Marshall. Although they came out a few points short of a win, the boys fought with high intensity and superb strength. The seniors, Zach Powell, John Pick, Van Acker, Christian Doolin, and John Timler had a bittersweet goodbye as they shot their last series of hoops on the court, forever leaving their mark in the gym and their hearts in the game. 
Here's a sneak peek of the newest musical, Oklahoma. Hey guys, make sure you come down to see Oklahoma on the 18th, 19th, and 20th. 18th, 19th at 7 o'clock, 20th at 3 o'clock. It's going to be awesome. Adults get in for $8, students get in for 5 It's super great. We've all worked on it super well. And it's this awesome little kind of love story in uh, an old time like West. We got cowboys and farmers rocking around with guns. There's fights. There's big dances. It's going to be great. You'll all love it, I'm sure. To conclude our episode, we would like to congratulate the state qualifying wrestlers, state qualifying swimmers, and the girls varsity basketball team for winning districts. Thank you for watching Studio 143 News and be sure to tune in to our next episode.